Hello, it's Mike from Dimensional Walking, and today I'm going to do a video on, we're going to call this one, UFOs, Aliens, and All Americans Got Hosed, okay? It sounds a little crazy, I know. But anyways, uh, so this is a little bit of a quote I'm going to give you next. We were ripped off. We got completely hosed. We were, they stripped out every part, okay? That was from Representative Tim Burchett, one of the lawmakers behind the um, bill called the UAP's Transparency Act. Okay. And we will talk about the act itself. I'll do it maybe on another video at a later time when everything kind of all the dust seems to settle on it because this just kind of happened the last few days, uh, last couple of days. Um, so, Un unpersuaded, uh, Tim uh, was unpersuaded by the uh, uh, recent Pentagon's latest uh, UFO report, which actually was, I guess, in March, that kind of stated there is no, there's no evidence of aliens at all, period, in the conversation, okay? Uh, so the members of the uh, oversight committee uh, didn't want to take no for an answer, and so they're preparing two more, and Tim, Tim, I guess, is the chairman of that, is going to uh, prepare uh, two more public hearings on uh, the UFO uh, situation. And uh, I don't have any dates yet. I don't, if somebody knows dates, I haven't, couldn't find any dates anywhere, let me know, because I, I think he's going to be uh, pretty much uh, out there, out front, and he's going to blast uh, probably the Pentagon which I don't know for his own sake if that's really great, but uh, he's going to do it because I think he's not happy at all. So following a classified briefing on the uh, uh, UAPs, more commonly known as we all talk about it, U UFOs, uh, Tim suggested Wednesday that the United States government may be intentionally concealing information on these objects from the American public. Well, really? Okay. Uh, and he pretty much said he thinks there's a cover-up. Um, so, uh, tens of millions of dollars that they spent um, on, you know, doing this investigation over the last year or so. Actually, I think it's been almost two years now. Uh, we'll, we had departments tell us that they have been recovering units, but haven't released a full report. Um, everything is covered up, says Tim. Okay? So, pretty pretty interesting stuff. This is not the first time that Burchette has accused the Pentagon of withholding information from Congress uh, that would prove the existence of extraterrestrial life. So, he's, he's really getting down in the weeds now, and he's going he's gonna to dance with them. Dance with the devil, as I call it. So after, after a series of explosive hearings last summer, which several whistleblowers blowers alleged that the government was hiding intel on the ultra-high-tech craft of foreign or even extraterrestrial origin, uh, Tim Burchette requested the Inspector General of the Intelligence Committee to investigate the claims further. So he's pushed the inspector general, which is a pretty, pretty powerful position to take a, a closer look at this and see what, what they think. So Tennessee, the Tennessee Republican, which is Tim Burchette, is among a group of bipartisan lawmakers who have continued to uh, you know, push this great transparency uh, from the uh, military officials on a about what the government knows about UAPs. Uh, and of course, that that w led to the effort last uh, fall to launch the uh, what they're calling the House UAP Caucus, okay? When asked why he suspected the cover-up, Blachette uh, pointed to a vast financial and technology, technological gains that could be made that should should actually tell you that there is evidence of extraterrestrial life because 
the public asserting that the American people would be able to handle such knowledge. So what the government was saying is basically uh, they couldn't, even if there were aliens, we would have to probably cover it up because they, the public could not handle it, uh, which honestly, I sort of believe that in many ways. I think there's a lot in the public, a lot of people, a lot of Americans, a lot of people in the world that could handle it. Uh, because they've been among us, you know, I've always said they've been among us for a very, very long time, maybe forever, uh, in one form or the other, okay? But anyways, he, he's saying that the government is saying we could not handle it. And of course, he doesn't want to take that for an answer at all. Uh, he also said it might be the fact that it's just plain arrogance. They don't think we deserve it. We don't deserve to know. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with high-ranking officials. So he's been going around. He's been talking to high-ranking officials is what he's saying. Um, that they they told him that America really couldn't handle this stuff. It's not their position to tell me. And he's saying it's not their position to tell me who or what I can handle. They're Americans. They ought to be, they ought to be able to handle it is what he's saying now. So this is kind of like a back and forth uh, thing. So he's saying, give me the information. Give it to me. I'm not afraid. So Tim Tim is, uh, in my estimation, okay, Tim is a very courageous guy. And I admire him, basically. But fair warning. This is my fair warning, okay? Uh, these guys who have been covering this up, which I believe is the greatest cover-up of all, don't play nice. To them, it is a dead serious business. So that is why every bit of the truth that has come to the surface recently and in the past will soon be buried again, like it has been over and over again since the 1950s. Okay? You know, I I had no crazy uh, thoughts when this all started a couple of years ago, when they looked like they were going to set up this committee and they were going to get to the bottom of this. And all these whistleblowers came out and talked, you know, talked all kinds of good stuff, all stuff that in my estimation is true, that this was going to, you know, just pop the top off of the box, the UFO box. Uh, I never thought it would, to be honest. I was hopeful, but, I, you know, I didn't think it would. Because you got to remember, this has been going on. It's like the roller coaster. It's been going on and up and down for the last, Jesus, probably 75 years now. Because they've had all these groups that are studying it, etc. And then suddenly they put a kibosh to it once they get close to the truth. So only the aliens, in my estimation, themselves will allow the cover-up to be over. Uh, they, are our, they are the timekeeper. They always, they have been, and they always will be. As, as, as they, as they once told me, as I sat on a, a, a park bench in Peachtree City, Georgia, reality is not what it seems. And I will tell you, oh, so true. Okay? So that's it. So until we meet again, we'll see you. Bye-bye.